This is this feels just palatial after the other one. Right? <laughs> and after our RV too. Actually, yeah, this is pretty good size. <laughs> So we're in sunny, oh, it's too bright out here. We're in sunny Southern California. We've been here for a few days. We chose this RV park, um, thinking it would be a good like central location to drive both to LA and San Diego. But when you factor in traffic, we just don't want to go anywhere. So we're actually moving today down to San Diego. So we'll be in the city. And something that's really cool after we get there, it's just a short drive, we're gonna actually go visit one of our viewers who lives in a tiny house in a tiny house community. So we're gonna go take a tour of that. Gonna be exciting. Um, if you don't know about us, if it's your first time here, we have nine kids and we live in our RV and travel the country. Our RV is probably less than 400 square feet. So the move and the transition into the RV taught us a lot about getting rid of stuff and also made us really a lot more interested than ever in tiny houses. Um, so you can see everybody's doing their thing. Here's Eve. She's trying to do Asher's working on some origami paper airplane stuff. Mom, actually, Mom. Oh, hold on a sec. Mom. Whoa, what are you guys doing? Jude, like, uh, trying to get out. Are you tr trying to practice Houdini skills there, Jude? So, right now, our RV's all closed up because we're about to move. So, that's our back bedroom. Five people sleep in there. The tiny houses usually have um, 100 square, for, for square feet per person, but only usually have two or three people living there. We have 11 people living in less than 400 square feet, so we know about tiny houses. So I'm excited to go see one on the ground, stationary, tiny house. Moving really is a group effort. Everybody pitches in and does stuff. If you want to see all of our moving, there's a link right here you can click on and see our moving day. A link put on the video by Elijah. But yeah, we've been here I don't know how long have we been here, guys. One week. I don't. Yeah, a full week. We've been here a full week. Got here on moving day. We didn't do anything, and then because it was a long drive, and then the next day we went to the beach, and it was really fun. But um, well, it was an hour drive to get there, but two and a half hours to get home because of traffic, and um, that kind of spoiled our plans of this RV park because we thought it would be centrally located, and we could go up or down, and. Um, it really just ended up being kind of located away from everything. So we've been pretty much just catching up on things, getting work done, playing at the pool, and decided we didn't want to do that anymore. So we're moving to San Diego to an RV park that's right in the city. I'm pretty stoked to see a tiny house in action. I've never been inside a tiny house besides my RV here. So should be pretty cool. Let's go. So we have arrived in beautiful San Diego. It's really pretty. Lots of beautiful trees. And uh, it feels like a really nice summer day. And it's, you know, only mid-November. So it's awesome. We're um, only 20 minutes to Mission Bay and 20 minutes to um, a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> instead of, you know, two hours. So, even though this isn't free, there's a lot of fun things to do here, and now I know that we'll be really using our time well here in San Diego, so we'll only be here for a week, and I, nothing worse than to feel like you didn't really get to see an area because you're just a little bit too far away. So, we'll get everything pulled together, Mike's starting to set up, and then we'll eat lunch and head over to our to our tiny house tour. So, should be good. What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song. There's always a moment when you realize you're going to meet someone you don't know in a situation you're not completely sure of and you start to panic, don't you think? We're like, wait, nah, what are we doing? 
I am. It's like, wait, we have no idea who this person is and if they were being honest or accurate or, I guess that's kind of the adventure of it too, but we're out in the middle of nowhere. Gonna go to this tiny house community okay. that we don't see yet. Cactus it. Yeah, okay. What is the, That's it, 1451. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Mom, I'm totally road, nervous. Gravel road. Mom. I see a trailer up ahead. I don't see a tiny house community. Maybe it's just an RV park. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, now I see some. There's a sign. Yeah. Hideaway. Ooh, it's like kind of secret back here, you know? The hideaway in Ramona. Yeah. Or the hideout. Oh, Mom. Having problems Thanks. with the law? Mommy, where are we going? Right here. See, See these, these little, little tiny houses? Little tiny houses? Mom, I'm gonna ask the same question. That That's why we're here right there. Oh. The only sign of life. I'm gonna ask you the same question last time, Mom. Can your camera be used as a weapon? Hello! Yeah. Can you just go straight? Right here? Just straight here? Off the road! All right, should I just park it? So what is this place? So this is the Hideaway Ramona, and it's a tiny house bed and breakfast. And right now they have that one and that one, the yellow one over there, set up for people to stay in. Um, but they just barely started this like last year, probably like a year ago. So you so. can put your tiny house here and then they'll rent it out for you yeah. when you're out here? Yeah. So that's so. cute. So did you just pick a plan and have it built or did you buy a um, pre-existing house? No, I I kind of designed it um, from a plan that I liked and I've, I've been interested in tiny houses for like five years. Mm -hmm. So I looked at a ton of plans and um, figured out what I wanted. <laughs> but yeah, but then I just So how much does something like this it. cost? Mine is actually really inexpensive for a tiny house. It was like $21,600. Okay, so that seems pretty dang cheap. But it's small, <laughs> for one thing, but... Um, is this a tiny, tiny house? It's tiny, is, tiny. Is this tiny as far as tiny houses go? It's small for a tiny house, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how many square feet is it? It's, um, well, it's seven feet wide by 16 feet long. So it's about like okay, I'm gonna put in the 112, car, okay. and then you take off whatever the porch is because it's not insulated, so. I don't know, but the loft is also not counted in that, so. Okay, well shall we go yeah, in? Come on inside, guys. Um, Mom, June pointed at the house and said it was- Okay, guys, do you be, want to hop up? be careful. It's really tall, so I'll give you a hand. Mom, you got it? Mom, June yeah. pointed at the house and said it was his house. Oh. You can do it? He said, my house. Let's check it out. Where are these wolves? So come, come and tell us, Heidi, where you're planning for ah. Don't go up there yet. Wait, hold on a second. So, yeah. This is like the living room. Mom. So will you put like a, like a little... I'm thinking I'll have like a fold up table right here. Living room. And then like a seat Mom. with storage. Sure. Yeah. pretty close. <laughs> and it's really hard to like get an angle in here. I'm trying to yeah. take pictures right Actually, here. Actually, I thought we could live in here. Cause it, Mom, look on. I know, it is really good house? there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can actually all um, just so sit then, here. This is um, cool. So it'll be like a bench. Would you put yeah. like a TV here? Um, I don't watch a lot of TV, so probably not. Do you just watch on your laptop or something? Yeah. 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 Well, there is another spot in the like back bedroom for a TV. It's not there, Here, do you want them to take their shoes off going upstairs? No, that's fine. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and then here's the bathroom. Yep. Good. Hurry up. Let's see. Yeah. Is this a um, composting toilet? It is, yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay, that so was one of their apartments. Mom! Going upstairs. <laughs> so come and check out the bathroom. No, it's about it, Heidi. So, Watch out. Are you going up? The stall is actually like... There's um, a mop and troll up here. A mop sink? Yeah. It's what does actually that mean? a mop sink, so it's like you put a mop in there to rinse it out, and yeah. like that's the that was the right size, oh. so that's what we went with. <laughs> um, and it's like basically two feet by two feet almost. Dad! What? It's not super huge. <laughs> oh man! And then will you put a curtain what? in? Yeah. So, so you can see it's a sink. That's a smart idea. Oh, it's a sink yeah. and a shower. What? Okay, yeah. go. Climb up the ladder. Up, oh, you want to close the door? Let's so see then... this. Composting toilet. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, go on. Yeah. So there's actually a lot of storage underneath wow. that bed if you want Tons. to lift Here, it Here, dude, scoot over really quick. The, um, the map. Here, Dad, you want to look? Like, or you got it? <laughs> Wow, tons. Oh, that's pretty good. I can kind of see. That's where we'd put the kids if they were help? behaving. Here, Megan, I'm going to help uh, E, e okay. get up. Okay, just climb so up then here. here's the bed here in here. So what size, is this a twin? Yeah, well, I can get it. Is it a, the full length of a twin or not short? Oh, it is. So that's cool. You like this house. Jude says it's his house, huh? <laughs> you want to go, what, what, can you say it in English? Yeah. Okay. So this is the bed, basically. Oh, yeah. Close the door. Whoa, careful. You can put a clean in there. Two burners. Yeah. Dishwasher, or no, fridge. Fridge, no dishwasher. Yeah, like you would need that, yeah. I'm gonna have my free dishes. You hide me. I mean, you're gonna hide in there? And then the yeah, water heater there. for the, well, the water heater is underneath the, what is it? Oh, right here. Oh. Awesome. Awesome. Is it like an on, dem on demand or is it? No, it's actually a tank. Okay. So. Hello, Mom. Okay. Hey. You wanna go up there, Dad, and see? Here, should we look up here? So what will you put up upstairs, Heidi? Probably, well, you can fit a queen size mattress on either side, so I'm thinking there's a skylight on this side. And that's probably where I'll end up sleeping most of the yeah. time. But um, then for this side, it'll just be storage. You want to get down? Let's hang out. Oh, that's so. true. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You want to go up there? Sure. I thought I was tight walking around there. <laughs> it's just because we have so many dang people. So a queen size bed fits over here. And another yeah. over here. And that's a baby size so bed. Like oh <laughs> I have Sleep. so I'm the oldest of seven do. and so I wanted like room for people to come over. Oh yeah, and stay. If, yeah. If that ever oh, that's your cute little house. Yeah. It was like a really baby house. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun though, just how versatile they are. Yeah. This is cute. And do you know and so do the family somebody owns this but not the family who owns the land. Right. So they just And they the charge you rent owners. or um no, actually that's free to park it here and then they split profits with me for the oh. nightly rentals because they okay. do all the maintenance and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, it's big. So this one's a little bigger <laughs> and nicer. So oh, that's cute. So this spends a lot of its space on its living room. Yeah. It's with a loft bed. bed. And so then. Oh, there you, there's a carpet too, right here. Mm -hmm. A little kitchen. I mean, it feels so spacious. Right, after being in mine. <laughs> I could sleep right here. I could live in this house, just one person. Yeah, or just like you and your wife. Yeah. Totally. I mean, it feels spacious too because we live in an RV. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, who's this? Oh, your feet are all right. I guess we're moving in. Dad, who is this? Uh, I don't know, just someone else. I don't know either, actually. But somebody else who owns it. This is this feels just palatial after the other one. Right. Yours. And after our RV too. Actually, yeah, this is pretty good size. All sorts of here. We could turn that couch into a bed. Yeah, it looks like it does. And they have like pots that you can bring in too. So. We were going to, but we didn't do it. We have two weeks <laughs> for a composting toilet. Yeah, that's true. No time to compost. So this one's about 200 square feet and um, feels very roomy. Totally. Just yeah. a couple of you, I mean, that would be what plenty. About that one? Can we go in that one or is it? Let's go check it out. So this is the same floor plan without furniture, and, and interestingly, Mom, furniture actually makes it seem bigger. Mom, you can put stuff up there. Oh yeah, see, in a tiny house, you have to use every space. I saw this person who has like a, his bath. He pulls off his bed, and the bath is under that, and he pulls off that, and you can put a chair there. No, the, no, he puts something on top of that, and there's a desk there. Interesting. Like it becomes his desk. Interesting. Do you guys want to live in a tiny house someday? Um, not really. <laughs> we already do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good so everything here runs off of solar. That's Good cool. Good for the environment. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go check that one out. It's nice to have that big porch on it. Mom, yep. that's right. Dude was it really asking. extends the living space. I don't think Mom, look at the staircase. 
Yeah, that's cool. And it's shelving. And it looks like you can push it underneath. That's that's so there's a bed up there. Hey, a little couch pillow. sofa thing that turns Make into a table. Mom, that's the same pillow we have. Look, it, you can, yeah, it is the same pillow. You can use it as a sofa, or you can pull it out and use your benches at that table. Mom, that's smart, huh? Mom, look. And I think these drawers, look, they push in to create more floor space. But you can push them in. Mom, look, you can put more stuff up here. Yeah, you can. With their TV. This there. Have a bunch of room too. Oh, there's an extra room back there. What do you think? What do you think you'd do? Oh, you can put a bed up in there. That'd be like a baby room, huh? And then your bathroom. That's a composting toilet as well. This one you could do a baby in because it has like a little room back here. Yeah. Bit of crib. And then up here. Hey, we're all just right here. Yeah. What Eve? Do you need help getting down? I need help. That's like. Yeah, that one's intense. Mom, go full size oven, full size fridge. That's great. Washer dryer. Yeah. Is it locked, for all? Oh no, nope, it's open. Oh, is that done? It's not done, but it's interesting to use the space. Using a fifth bed, Whoa, kind of, mama. a fifth We're wheel scared. kind of bed. See, oh, it looks like a room up there. Nice. Mama, it is a room. This is huge. Oh, you can see a reflection over there. Mom, we can put our storage in Big shower, toilet, big bathroom. This one feels so big. Whoa. Mom, there's That's like a full on room. Yeah. Mom, there's ants. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, and they've got ants. That makes it real big, too. It's like a real house. I've seen one when they have... It's like a 40 foot trailer, I think. And it's a family of five, so they have their three kids up on the on this loft, and then they have another loft on that side for the parents. But. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That's about the Yeah, our, our, our kid is 44 feet, so he's probably about the same. Hang on a second. Let me show Mommy, okay? Heidi, Heidi wrote this book. That's and she awesome, gave it to Heidi. Us. Thanks. Heidi's actually an author. She's written like nine or ten books. Awesome. Yeah. Some novels and some children's books. <clears throat> and oh. so. <laughs> Swipe. They're, they're already. You guys might like it. Yeah, no. that's awesome, actually. They're already fighting over it. I love a lot of the ideas of like simplifying, and we've really enjoyed that. Like not yeah. defining ourselves by our stuff and not like falling into that consumption trap. But I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with space. No, what There's I, something very uplifting about open spaces too. Yeah. Good for the soul. What I like about small, the tiny house movement is efficiency. And I, when we do have a home someday, what I do want it to have is I want all this space to be used well, not have any wasted space. Yeah. So I, I definitely, that's a takeaway. And I guess even just moving into the, the fifth wheel made me want to make sure that we're efficient with our space. You don't have a yeah. wasted space or, um, you know, yeah. space you don't really use. So I, I want to do that for sure. And maybe that means you wouldn't need as big a, a place, but uh, I don't know.